What's a word that you've recently discovered and you've absolutely fallen in love with? I'll go first. Clairvoyant has been stuck in the forefront of my mind for several hours now. Credit to the original poster for starting this thread on the writing subreddit. And let's go read some answers. Dalliance, a brief love affair. Viscera. I don't know why. Fun to type and say. My writing suddenly took a very dark turn once I discovered this word, just because I loved typing it so much. I loved using juxtaposition for a while. I also remember when I first saw the word, I thought it was a typo for just position. Mellifluous. I heard it in The Sopranos once, and even though I think the dude used the word wrong, it really struck me. It describes a beautiful song or sound. Not recently discovered, but I love the word frolic. It's just fun to say. Agreed. Sometimes the way the word is built and rolls off the tongue communicates the meaning quite well. Borborygmus. It's the sound of tummy rumbles. Fliberty gibbet. An excessively talkative person. I heard this years ago in The Sound of Music and never knew what it meant. Love it. Pulchritudinous is one I recently discovered. It's a synonym for beautiful. Liminal. It's where I thrive. Never knew how to word it. I love this word also. It's such an interesting space to pay attention to. And it rolls off the tongue. Cahoots. Because it causes me to picture a small troop of bumbling criminal owls. I recommend always using shady in front of cahoots. It adds something, like that ketchup on top of a meatloaf. Not a recent discovery, but my favorite word is petrichor, which is a noun for that fresh scent you sometimes smell after rain. My favorite fact about petrichor. Humans are 200,000 times more sensitive to petrichor than sharks are to blood. Sharks can detect blood at one part per million. We can detect the cyanobacteria that causes petrichor at five parts per trillion. Noctilucent, a phenomena where clouds glow during sunset and sunrise, specifically when the sun is barely on the horizon. Apricity, it means the warmth of sun in winter, and it is so lovely. Zoftig, like who could have thought of a weird looking word like this? Not a recent discovery, but one I'm always eager to share with others. Cockalurum, meaning a self-important little man. It feels good to learn a new word that's about me. Disabuse, like when you say, you can disabuse yourself of that notion, instead of, bro, you're f***ing wrong. It just hits different. Not better, mind you, just different. Fetid, for when I need to describe what dried vomit and dysentery smells like in the rain. Flounce, to behave in an arrogant way, to go or move exaggeratedly, to sachet, another favorite. Hollyhocks, apparently it's a type of flower. I like how it sounds feminine, but also a bit feral. Like in Hollyhock, Mannheim, Mannheim, Guerrero, Robinson, Zilberschlag, Sung, Fonzarelli, McQuack. Not new, but deliquesce. It means of organic matter to become liquid, typically during decomposition. I don't use it often, of course, but when I do, I like using it figuratively, such as to describe something like an idea or an emotion passing away. Esoteric. Secret, mystical, magic, confusing, old, esoteric works for literally all of them, and it's a great way of not calling things magic, because that's very good for immersion in a fantasy series. But that's a rant for a different post. Facetious, deliberately inappropriate humor. I apologize for this quite often. At work, my team recently decided to have a word of the day that we need to incorporate into our public talks and or radio chatter. I work as a zookeeper, so this is a lot of fun. A few days ago, the word was lugubrious, meaning to look or sound sad and dismal. I immediately loved it. It's one of those words that really sounds like it's meaning. Bloody hard word to use when describing lemurs, though. Farrago, an incongruous mixture, a confused jumble. Obsequious, fawningly servile. Abscond. A word often written, but rarely used in real life. Catch that man, he's absconding with my wallet, damn him. I don't think anyone would know whether to give a shit or not. Sequestered. 
meaning of a place isolated and hidden away. Nibbling is a gender-neutral word for niece or nephew. As a new uncle, I love my nibblings. Noctivigant, going about in the night, night wandering. Lowering, which means a dismal, brooding sky full of dark clouds. I'm also a fan of defenestrate, i.e. pushing someone out of a window. I love the idea that English has such a precise word for something that must be quite a rare occurrence. I always tell people it means to yeet a motherfucker out of a window. Phantasmagorical. Not recently discovered, but I recall Daffy Duck uttering it in an old Looney Tunes cartoon while growing up. Machicolation. It's just a slot to drop hot oil or some other less than healthy material on people attacking your castle. It's used a few times in the current book I'm reading, and I had to look it up to know what it was. I just like the way it looks and sounds. Plus, now I got another word to use while describing fortifications. Peanut will always be my favorite English word. American eggplant is also funny. Given that so many other plant words originate in English, orange yields orange in French or German, naranja in Spanish, etc. I'm quite glad no one else says plant with eggs. Quixotic. I've never heard it before, and then it came up in like three different books I was reading right in a row. It means excessively idealistic, impractical, and I honestly am contemplating getting it as knuckle tats. Not recently, but the word intrigue. It's a word I can't quite exactly translate into any other languages I speak. I love saying, I'm intrigued. To me, it seems like some combo of interest, fascination, and curiosity all jumbled into one beautiful word. Conceptualization. Not new, just newly appreciated. I like it because it's a higher browed way of saying imagined or hypothesis. Apocalypse. Not a recent discovery, but I found out it originally meant a great unveiling, revealing of secrets, and it's messing with my head. Anthropomorphism. I thought I knew its meaning since morph means change and anthro is obviously human, so I thought it was people changing. But in this word's case, it is changing non-human things to be more human by describing them using human-related characteristics. My favorite word is coccyx, but recently I've started really enjoying the word canoodling. Basically, it means snuggling, hugging, and being touchy-feely in a not-sex way with your partner. Super fun word in my opinion. As someone who injured their tailbone a while back, coccyx quickly became my least favorite word. I've always been partial to fessonine, which means scurrilous, licentious, obscene. In layman's terms, horny. Skullduggery, underhanded behavior. Another perfect word, as it is pronounced to create the tone needed for the message. Winerific is both beautiful and horrifying at the same time. Leads to really interesting image search results. Leviathan, as in something very large and powerful. Dilettante. It perfectly describes where I'm at right now. Same, being a dilettante is my goal. Would also accept flaneur. I learned insouciant a week ago and have been seeing it everywhere since. It's an intensely satisfying word for some reason. Agathocacological, composed of both good and evil. Werefestria, wandering longingly through a forest, seeking mystery. Apathy, a consuming passion that endures. Schadenfreude, I often say this when I stub my toe, as an expletive. Soliloquy, super fun to say and sounds like a sort of magical name. Gruntled, is that the opposite of disgruntled? I thought it was that gruntled. Persnickety. I technically knew it since childhood, but I was recently reminded of it, and I gotta love it. I've been a fan of obstreperous since having kids. Gormless. An adjective. Lacking sense or initiative. Foolish. Sapid. Bodlerism, or bodlerized. Curmudgeon. Ouroboros. Happenstance. Serendipitous. Wretched. Conniption. Love it. Resplendent is just such a happy word for me. I don't know. 
Suceris. Ultra Crepidarian. Lackadaisical. Inelectable. Portention. I love this question. With English not being my first language, I continuously encounter new words, especially when reading novels written a hundred years ago or older. I picked up Jane Eyre recently, and oh my, there are so many. I love learning words by simply reading. If I'm not sure about what they convey, I can just quickly Google it. But oftentimes, you can decipher the meaning from the context, and in that way, it also sticks with you more. One word that I've come across in a fanfic recently is iridescent. The author used it to describe a character's eyes, and I adopted it since. I love to make the new words mine by using them in my own writing later. Whenever I learn a new word, I use it as much as possible at work the next day, without telling anyone I just learned that word. I just learned imperiously. I'm going to see how many sentences I can squeeze that word into at work today. Yes, I am considered somewhat odd at work. It is what it is. Lest. Lest we forget lest. Ah, another fellow man who was able to use lest. Let us use lest, lest we forget it. The name of my boyfriend. Big thank you to my Patreon members, my little ruse. Kuski55, Fallen Vexen, Sam, Danka42, I Am a Noodle, John Huang, Fantastic Wreck, Laser Scorpio, Night Avenger, and Mintara. Thank you so much for your extra support on Patreon, it means the world to me. Your guys' names are some of my favorite words. Thanks for being a supporter. And the same goes to my YouTube channel members, my mini ruse, AD. Taylor Thompson, Foxstar Killer, Logan, and D Bella. Thank you so much for your extra support. I'm so glad to have you be a part of my channel. You guys have fantastic names, and I appreciate you a lot. And I appreciate everyone else who watched. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite words to use, or words you just love and wish you used more. Like I said, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.